Good day and humble greetings, one and all, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Feeling brave tonight? Oh yes, do you? Well, how brave? Brave enough to do battle with a terrifyingly evil creature born from human imagination? I, Mr. TSC, aka the Shadow Cookie, your humble host, welcome you all back to Let's Play Slender, the Eight Pages. It just never stops. The same way XCOM pretty much continues to bewitch my very senses, I continue to find enjoyment within this infamous little work of horror. The same way my humble soldiers need to keep destroying one alien after the other, I am cursed to keep playing Slender, hoping to eventually collect all eight of the mysterious pages. Let us jump back into the game. Are you watching because you are too afraid to play the game yourself, or simply because you desire to waste some time watching somebody else play a video game? Hopefully I can provide everything you also desire. Here we are, once again, yes indeed ladies and gentlemen, the Slender Woods. For the third time already, Jesus Christ, I have certainly grown quite attached to this very location. That may not be a good thing in all honesty, but hey, what can you do? Tastes are certainly different within each human mind. Certain human individuals desire to, I don't know, eat cotton candy, other human individuals desire to walk around in the middle of the night through a very dark forest, not knowing where the hell they are going anyway? Huh. I guess my mind is a little bit screwed up, isn't it? Well, here's a little update, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I have taken a little bit of a different approach. And why? Because my very brightness settings are actually turned up a little. Quite frankly, it is necessary to stay alive because here's the thing. I turned my brightness settings down so much that I couldn't see a single darn thing, which is not how the game is meant to be played. Now certainly, horror is one element of darkness. And please, would you um, exchange both of those words I wanted to say? Darkness is certainly an element of horror, or a element of horror. However, if you turn the game darker than it is supposed to be, you will simply walk through the middle of the night aimlessly as if you were blindfolded. And being blindfolded would kind of spoil the experience. I am certain you get my point, ladies and gentlemen. Before, I couldn't even see trees, trees such as these, right in front of me. I could be this close to them and wouldn't see them. However, now I can see into the distance. Not saying that the game is... Ah! Not saying that the game is now too bright, mind you. However, it is bright enough so that I can at least uh, feel capable of making a little bit of more progress. <sighs> and here we go, the very first page. Picking this up will trigger the inevitable. Hmm, quite frankly though, would it be a smart idea to pick it up? Because, you know, next I will need to check out the building. And the building itself, well, has plenty of dead ends. Oh my, he could possibly trap me in there. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I am pretty sure you want to see me struggle a little. You want to see the Sandman tear apart my sanity. Therefore, I am going to risk it. Let us begin the adventure. Or should I say, the massacre. Well, once again accidentally zoomed in. Why the frick does the freaking pick up page key need to be um, one of the mouse buttons? Why not E? I am used to pressing E to interact with something. 
Oh well, I am digressing. No, 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 no. Certainly. Alrighty then, Mr. Slender. It is time to begin our rather delightful game. The very game we play each time I stumble my way into this dark forest. Only today, the light is on my side. Ha 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 ha. You will not be able to catch me that easily, good sir. For as long as I have light, I will be able to prevail. Of course, the darkness isn't making this easy. In fact, the darkness is scaring me a little already. Uh, he could be behind every single corner of this building. Uh, and I almost screwed up my sentence there. Nothing in that room. Why did I screw up my sentence? Because my hand was actually shaking. Shaking a little in fear. Oh my. Could he be around this corner? I think there is another room here. Slender? Oh my gosh. Uh, he is not here. But he is slowly drawing closer. Not around that corner. Not around this corner. Uh, darkness. Darkness everywhere. I am already shivering way too much than I should shiver. The game has only just begun, TSC. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah. Hello there, chair. Is there a page on top of you? No, there isn't. Oh, and he is not behind me. Certainly a pleasure some or uh, pleasurable discovery. Ah. I actually wanted to share a little bit of knowledge I gathered by now about the very game, but this situation is already freaking me out so very much I don't think I will be able to talk about a single darn thing. Hello? Huh, so the building was a dud, eh? How freaking lovely. I just wasted my time. Time he is going to abuse to stalk me down. Alrighty, nothing here. Let us simply leave this terrible place and be on our merry way. Back into the forest we go. Uh, I feel a little bit safer out here, mainly because there is no wall or anything that can prevent me from walking. Because anything that stops you in your tracks will allow the slender to quickly catch up. Now, I could turn off my flashlight every now and then, like this. I think it actually allows you to escape his grasp, if you use it at certain times. Not too sure, though. I could also allow myself to run, because running, you know... <laughs> the Slenderman can teleport, but he can't run. If I run, I will put some distance between me and him. And yes, I am certainly stating the obvious here. However, the more you run within the Slender Woods, the slower you slowly, <laughs> slowly, but surely get. And not being able to run in emergency situations is quite terrifying. Well, there's the fence. Bummer. I am really trying to stay on the path this time, because there is actually a path to this very forest, before I didn't even notice. However, now I certainly do. This right here is the path. It has less trees than just walking straight through the forest. And oh dear, we are closing into something that looks rather ominous. Oh, this is it. A new discovery. This is the infamous slender tree. A huge tree with rather deformed branches. Yike! Two out of eight, making progress slowly but surely. 
Well, since he is currently not anywhere to be seen, I guess I can try to share a little bit of my knowledge. This entire forest is basically one giant circle. As long as you stay on the path, you will eventually come across... Oh, damn. Uh, hello? Oh, freaking hell. There are vehicles over there. I want to reach them, but he is making it impossible. Alrighty, Slendy, are you gone for the time being? Beautiful. As I wanted to say though, as long as you stay on the path and circle around the map, you will eventually reach your next destination. Ah! Ugh. Ugh. Oh my fucking god. That scared the shit out of me. Leave me alone, yes certainly. I beg of you, Slendy. Oh fucking hell. And now I have lost track of the path. I no longer know where the hell I am going. Not at all. I only know that it is dark absolutely everywhere. Maybe into this direction? Only three pages so far. And the music has already decided to kick in. Well, it always does as soon as you collect your third page. Mm. Just... Allow me to... Aha! Allow me to slowly but surely... I do believe I said that already. Slowly but surely reach destination after destination. Like that I could actually try to survive this horrible adventure. Hello? Oh man, there's no page here. No page at the vehicle. I remember that vehicle though. I do believe I stumbled upon it the last time already. Which means somewhere around here should be the tunnel. Mm -hmm. I shall continue to walk into this direction. And hopefully I will come across something. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Not into that direction. Or... Ah! No, 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 most definitely not into that direction for now. Aha, there it is. The Slender Tunnel. Which means if I head through this, I should be back on the path. Hopefully. Keep your eyes open, ladies and gentlemen. I want to find at least one more page. So I can feel like I am making a little bit of progress. There are no pages in here. Damn it. Well, I am not going to stop though. Hello? He is not behind me. I shouldn't have turned around, I know. But I... Uh, just had to make sure. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stay away. Am I walking towards him? What is going on? I can't see him. Maybe it is just a side effect of the slender syndrome, you know, distortion, nausea, and all that painful stuff affecting me. Uh, well, what other locations do I know of? Well, there is the rather massive rock formation. Oh, no, 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 not again. Good sir, stop it. I am not near you. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything! Run! Turn off the flashlight! Oh my fucking hell, I can't see a single thing. Is he right behind me? I think he is. No! Stay the fuck away from me! <laughs> what did I do wrong? I continued to walk. I didn't see him. No, I didn't see him whatsoever. <laughs> Yet he still tracked me down without mercy. Can anybody explain to me what I did wrong? Did I leave my flashlight turned on for too long? Did I not run enough? Did I take too much freaking time? I have no idea. Maybe you are meant to run every now and then. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we did stumble upon a new location, the Slender Tree, as well as two vehicles instead of just one. How delightful! Sadly, my page count didn't increase. But hey, this is only my third episode, after all. I am pretty sure I can improve over the course of time. <coughs> oh, well, he didn't scare me all that much today. Except, of course, that one bloody fucking appearance. It came so out of nowhere. I screamed. You had my voice, didn't you? <laughs> I freaking screamed. And walking through the corridors of the building, expecting him to be behind every corner, that terrified me as well. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I hope that you enjoyed this episode. My humble name is Mr. TSC, aka the Shadow Cookie, wishing you all a great day. Seeing you all next time. I will see you all next time. Yes, certainly. Also, just in case you are still listening, it provides you with a little bit of an advantage because I am now going to tell you a small update. Remember how I mentioned I'd want to upload a vlog before the end of the year? Well, certain complications led to the result that it will probably not happen. No, sadly not. It'll have to wait until January 2013. I am so incredibly sorry, but believe me, I will upload a little something. Maybe just a video full of me talking without anything else at all. But you will get something, a little update, a little summary of the year, and blah 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 blah, within which I will also explain why I couldn't make the vlog in time. Thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, have a great day, or a great night. Just remember, leave the lights turned on, and don't look behind your back. Don't do it, or else he'll be there.